everybody, it's Neil from WineExpedition.com. I'm up here in Napa, Bennett Lane Winery with Keith Hargrove. How are you, Keith? I'm doing great, Neil. I met Keith in Del Mar at the wine tasting a couple weeks ago, and I thought, we're up in Napa, we got to come visit Keith. So here we are, Bennett Lane Winery. Bennett Lane, what's the story? Bennett Lane, small producer north end of Napa Valley. Uh, we've been open since 2003, and Randy and Lisa Lynch uh, are our owners, small family run winery. We do about 11,000 cases, 100% Napa fruit for all the wines we make. And uh, when they got here a few years ago, one of the questions they had is, why is wine so expensive in Napa? Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that's a question a lot of people have. And, and so we've really made an impact in the last few years and gotten a lot of attention by making wines that we feel are shockingly good at a fair price. We're trying to over-deliver with every bottle we make. Well, certainly uh, Napa's become synonymous with fine California Cabernet Sauvignon, so it's not unheard of to walk into a store and see a, a bottle of Napa Cab for $75, $100, right. even more. Um, you're saying not here. Well, not necessarily not here. We do have a reserve Cabernet that's you know just in the hundred dollar price point, but we've also got wines in the twenty eight to thirty five dollar range that drink like hundred dollar bottles, and and that's really what we're trying to do. We'd like to see our wines on a price point at a price point on a wine list where you would normally see them retail. So right. that when you go into a, a restaurant and you see say Maximus, which is our flagship wine for sixty dollars, and you have it you would think to yourself, wow, I would have paid that retail for it. Right. So every time you have a bottle of our wine, we would like you to think, gee, I would have paid twice as much for that, not, gee, I should have paid half as much for that. Right. Now, as you said, we're in the northern end of Napa Valley. We're in Calistoga. Yes. Is all your fruit from Calistoga from here on the property in the estate, or? No, we've got uh, 22 and a half acres planted. We also have contracts. Doug White is our vineyard manager, and Doug White, uh, his family owns and farms Llewellyn Vineyard, which you may be familiar with down in St. Helena. Yeah. Uh, White's family has owned and farmed Llewellyn since 1864. Uh, Doug farms sustainably, so our, all of our vineyards are sustainably farmed, no, uh, no burning with uh, clippings. We disc them in, three cover crops a year we disc in for nutrients, uh, drip irrigation. Uh, the health of the vineyards is, is great. We get tremendous fruit uh, from Doug's vineyards, the vineyards he manages for us. This core, you've tasted the wines, this core of black fruit front to back. Uh, with a really long, clean finish. And so we're real fortunate to have Doug as our manager. Llewellyn, I would say mid-valley, you know, right in St. Mm -hmm. Helena off of the foothills. Uh, we get some fruit from Barlow, which is just north of Three Palms on Silverado Trail. Okay. Uh, and then we get some fruit down valley as well. Uh, uh, our, our, excuse me, our Syrah is from uh, Trio B and Trio C, which is down in Yachtville. Okay. But then the Cabernet, it's Cab Country up here. We've got 20 something acres, 22 and a half acres planted, mostly to Cabernet. Barlow in Calistoga Appalachian, or the soon to be hopefully Appalachian. Oh. Uh, well, we're working on it. It's a battle. Interesting. So. And, uh, th so Barlow within the Calistoga. Well, yeah, Barlow is definitely in, within the Calistoga boundary. But we're, there's a uh, movement to try to get Barlow to be its own. No, uh, actually, the movement is Bo Barrett uh, started years ago for a Calistoga Appalachian, and you understand Appalachians. It's definitely a way to market a uh, region. The region it's a has to point exactly where. Sure, Stag's Lee, from. Powell Mountain. It really, it really puts an area on the map. It's a, ultimately a branding technique as well. Absolutely, and when you can show that a region or a certain area has a distinctive characteristic, which we see up in Calistoga. The soil very, you know, very sandy up here. We've got a lot of drainage. It's great for growing Cabernet, and it's got a very distinctive characteristic. It's much more fruit driven, I think, at the north end of the valley than, say, Oakville, Rutherford, you know, the sure. classic Rutherford style Cabernet. You don't see that core of fruit that we see up here. Um, we have some issues with uh, a label that uh, we probably won't get into on, on this blog. Fair enough. But uh, the Appalachian is something that all of us up here would like to see, and it's just got a little bit of a sticking point right now. But it's moving forward? Uh, it's moving. Knock on knock, Marvel? Knock on Marvel, exactly. <laughs>